My name is Ben Cohen. I'm 98 years of age. I was born in Glasgow in, in June 1915. Well, I was a replacement. My, my parents lost a child. They had lived in a, um, <clears throat> in a very poor part of, of the gobbles and a kettle spilt over from the grate, from the open, they had open grates then, it spilt on it and the child died of burns. Gobbles was a, a collection of tenements. These were um, um, three-story buildings of housing uh, built on grey sandstone. Each floor had two flats and there was a common door to these two flats. In the case of our family, there were six of us in two rooms in the kitchen. Our next door neighbour was even bigger. They had about seven or eight uh, of a family. And things were very primitive in a way. There, there was only one lavatory for both families. And um, there was always trouble between the two families because uh, the, the, the family next to her, they weren't very clean and things. So it was pretty grim, really. Uh, there was no hot water, for instance, um, there, were never, there was no hot water in the kitchens, you know. If you wanted hot water, you, you had to put it, you had to uh, heat the water on the grate. The, the, we had, there was no central heating or anything on that one. The, the life for children in the gobbles was a street scene. And we played a game using a curious um, piece of wood, which uh, was um, um, a wood about th three inches long with sharpened points at the end, we'd have a, a bat, a wooden bat, and we would strike the edge of this piece of wood, and the, the wood would then fly into the air, and then you would run in a circle and, until the, the thing was recovered. It was like, like rounders. Um, you would have people, uh, you would have um, men selling things. Milk would be sold from a cart in the street. The milkman would come with a cart and you would buy milk from him from a jug. He had barrels of milk on the back, you see. And the coal man, he would, he would he'd have a horse and cart with, the, with, the, with, the, with his coal uh, on top, and he would have a cry, shouting call or something like that. And there was also uh, um, another form of sale on the street was old clothes. Mm -hmm. And um, the, somebody would come with a hand cart and shout, close for old iron. And it, we would then run to our parents and say, well, get, have we got any, any old hand, uh, or any clothes or thing? And we would give it to this man and he would give us a, perhaps a penny or two. Um, and the other thing in the street scene was um, we played as, as children on the pavement all the time, of course. Uh, and we would play, we would, we would we played cards. I remember this. We played a game called pontoon. It was like a gamble, and we played a game also gamble with 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 uh, secret cards called um, it was called brag. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we also did another gambling thing, pitch penny. We would uh, stand in front of a wall and. Um, we would, throw, we would we'd throw pennies to the wall and the one whose penny was nearest the wall, he would take the five and he would throw them up. And, and as, when they landed up, those that, that were um, 
heads. He picked up, he, took, he pocketed it, and those who were tails were left for other people, the other children too. Mm. It was a form of gambling, mm. but it, it, was, it was only done with small, small sums of money, mm -hmm. a halfpenny or a penny. Yeah. But I mm. remember that was going on mm. in the street. Yeah. The, our street had a curious um, type of division. The bottom half of the street was mainly, mainly Roman Catholic, and there was a school, a Roman Catholic school there, and um, the top half of the street were mainly Jews and Christ Jews and Gentiles of various types. And in the infants class, I clearly remember uh, they sang a hymn, Jesus love me, yes I know, because the Bible tells me so. Now, as a Jewish boy, I, I was terrified to say the word Jesus. And I can remember standing there as a little boy of five years of age saying, mm -mm, loves me, yes, I know. <laughs> and uh, <coughs> it's very fun. Anyway, from time to time there, there would be a, a fight in the street between the children from the bottom, invading the top of the uh, the top of the street, attacking children there, and as a Jewish boy, you were in between. Now, when I was going to school, about five days or six or seven, if it was St. Patrick's Day, what would happen? The the the, the, the child, a uh, little ruffling, would come up to you and they said, "Are you a Billy or a Dan?" And you had to work out what was he. You see? And if you guess wrong, he'd biff you. I remember an Orange Day procession, and I went to see this, and they were all marching through the seats. And I remember clearly, uh, leading this procession, there was a man who held up a, a large sword. It must have been about 10 feet sword, in his both hands, and he had blood on the on, on, on the sheath of, 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 the, of, the, uh, of the, the sword. And I remember seeing that. I was terrified and ran all the way home.